What's going on guys? Thank you for joining me again. If you're curious as to the weapon that has been used by the communists, the Taliban, even those little bloated fat children with a bunch of flies around their face in Africa, you're at the right place. Because today we're going to be talking about the AK-47, specifically the Zestava M70. This thing's pretty fun and man, when I picked this thing up, I just needed it. A little bit of vodka. I just felt the vodka, the need for vodka. So we'll just get some a little bit here. Just get a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Huh. <sighs> Roll that intro. <coughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Midnight Run's trusty viewers coming back for their fat load of juicy content. Advice from your favorite soldier, Johnny Sins. Definitely hit that subscribe button, like button, and leave a comment. Now, enjoy this intro. <music> Thank you guys again for tuning in, and you know what our friend Johnny Sin said. If you guys haven't subscribed, liked, give her a little sniff, give her a little sniff down there. It really helps me out, really helps the production out, really helps the channel out. So thank you guys. But today, we will be talking about the Zestava M70. This is my first AK I've ever owned. Um, I have no experience with, with AKs. I've always wanted to uh, shoot one. I've always wanted to own one, and this is it. I traded, I traded uh, the Mark 18 upper for this thing, and uh, it's been fun. It's been fun. Um, I was always a AR guy. I always liked the AR-15. I always thought it was a lot better uh, weapon system than the AK, but I guess it was a little biased. So now that I have one, you can kind of compare the two. And there are uh, just right out of the right out of the gate, there are a couple things that I did not really like about the AK. And then there's a couple things that I really did like about the AK. Um, it's pouring rain out here, so we're just gonna make this quick. But uh, first things first, the thing that I really noticed about, about uh, the AK is it, it does shoot a 7.62 by 39 round, which is a very powerful round. That thing, that thing has a lot of stopping power. A lot of stopping power, a lot more stopping power than the AR, than the 5.56, the 223. Um, so that right out of the gate was pretty cool. Also, 7.62 by 39, it was $8 for a box of 20. So, uh, can't complain that. I know ammo's crazy expensive right now. And uh, so that's pretty cool. You have this battle rifle that is shooting pretty much cheaper than 22 long, so, or nine millimeter. Um, so that is definitely a huge plus that I've noticed with the steel case ammo. It's stupid cheap, a lot, a lot of power, and, um, a lot of power, so a lot of bang, a bang for your buck. Uh, that was something I really, really noticed uh, at first. Uh, this thing, we all know how, how durable the AK is. Uh, this thing is an absolute tank. I haven't had any malfunctions with it at all. It's pouring rain, throw it in the dirt, throw it in the sand, throw it into the mud, whatever. So that is something that I've, that, that is definitely a, um, a plus for the AKs, AK over the AR that I've noticed. The AR is uh, it, it is a good rifle system, but you have to keep it clean. It has to be very, very clean. If you don't keep it clean, it's going to break on you. It's not going to operate, and you're just kind of out for the count. So uh, that is one thing that I really noticed about the AK, which was cool, is you can do whatever the want or whatever you want in it. 
I think if you could even take a big dump inside the chamber and it will still probably fire. It will, it will, it will probably just use human shit as lubricant and it'll just keep wanting more. So that is, a, that is definitely a, a plus. Um, uh, going into the negatives of it, it is, it is fairly heavy. <laughs> it is fairly heavy. Um, I don't even know how much it weighs, but I can, I can, I can definitely tell that it's, it's big, it's bulky. It's, uh, it, it's definitely a tank. So uh, that, that is something that I noticed. It's a 16 inch barrel, so it is a, it is a pretty, pretty long girl. She's got some long legs on her, um, but uh, it, not, not too big of a deal with the barrel length. I know that you can get smaller ones, this and that, but this one's 16 inch, so um, just for the, the M70, it is kind of long. Uh, that, uh, that, was, that was something that I really, really noticed. Uh, my probably biggest, my probably biggest complaint about the uh, M70 and the AK is the reciprocating charging handle. So you gotta keep your fingers away from there. So if there's any reason, you know, you're, you're doing something and your hand's in the way, or you're on the ground or something, and that charging handle uh, clips something or locks onto something, your fingers or whatever, it's not gonna feel good. It's just not gonna be a good experience for you. So I didn't really, really like that. That's something that I, that I noticed. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not about that, especially on a rifle like this. Um, you know, where you're running and gunning with it and you're moving around and stuff like that. Uh, so that's, that was kind of a negative. I didn't really, really enjoy that part of it because I just kept thinking, I was like, oh, what if my fingers get down there or something like that? I was kind of, it was kind of making me nervous, but um, definitely a negative on the AK. Uh, that was uh, not cool. Also, probably my biggest, my biggest fault, the biggest fault for this thing is the bolt doesn't lock to the rear when it's out. So I didn't know, I, you don't really know when it's, when it's out of ammo until you just hear the click of death there and it's it's like, ugh. So I, do, I, I don't like that. You know, the AR, obviously it locks back when it's out of ammo and you know it's out of ammo. This, you don't really know. And I ran into that uh, situation a couple times where it was, um, I didn't know, I didn't know how many rounds left I had in it. So that is, uh, that was definitely a negative of it. But, so all said and done, just a quick overview of the M70 and the AK, my first time I've shot one of these. And uh, it's fun, it's definitely fun. Um, would I, do I wanna keep this thing? I'm gonna trade it, so if you guys want the M70 and you have anything cool to trade, definitely uh, definitely let me know on Instagram, we can, we can do a trade. But um, it is, it's definitely a fun gun. It's definitely a fun gun. It's definitely a tried and true, proven system. And it's, uh, it, it definitely does its job. It definitely does its job. Um, especially that ammo. So it's like, all right, you have this, you have this tank of a weapon for $7.99 for 20 rounds. So you can definitely carry a lot of ammo and it's, not, and it's dirt cheap. So that's pretty cool. And um, that is probably why, why I would keep this rifle um, because I'd like to just shoot steel case ammo and it just runs forever uh, for $8.99 or $7.99 for 20 rounds, you know? So that's kind of cool. Uh, but. Just quick overview of the M70, my first time shooting shooting an AK, and uh, it was definitely fun. But this uh, this rifle is up for trade, so if you guys want it, you let me know. You go check it out. Go check it out on the Instagram. But uh, but yeah, that's about it. That's about it. I haven't taken apart. I haven't really done anything to it. Um, I know that it's a it's an extremely easy uh, system to take apart. The brain power going into this thing. And it's definitely a, a, uh, a proven weapon system. But uh, that's about it. I'm gonna put some more rounds to this thing. And then maybe we'll do a second video on it. Maybe we'll do a comparison back to back AR and the AK. I don't know. If you guys wanna see it, leave it in the comment section below. But uh, just a quick video today. And that's uh, just talking about the M70. So, appreciate it. A lot of good stuff coming. Stay tuned. We'll be back out there. Later.